What's up, family? Welcome back to another legendary top of the movie reaction video. I'm redoing the video, family, with the best Larry Bird versus Michael Jordan story I ever told with the actual video showing. I want to double check. Here we go, family. So I got the actual video showing this time. My apologies for the last video not showing the video by mistake. It wasn't purposely. I just forgot to show it. So I'm ensuring that it's showing this time. Let's go. NBA Hall of Famer James Worthy, who played against both Michael Jordan and Larry Bird, said, I'd much rather play against Michael Jordan than Larry Bird. Mm. Jordan made you look slow, but Bird made you look stupid. Hey, man. Jordan just had the speed, which is the skill. But Bird had the IQ. Made you look stupid. See, excuse me, you don't have to be the smartest in the room. You don't have to be the fastest in the room. But the one who is very persistent, consistent, and disciplined has the mentality to always grow, and never get complacent, and evolve, and always accepting challenges and obstacles that come their way to later then benefit them in a, in a benefit them in the best interest of them from being comfortable with the uncomfortable they will always surpass the one that just has skill look i'm not here to convince you that larry bird is better than michael jordan i'll just present to you the f good because there was going to be no convincing anyway x and let the nba legends who actually played against both of them tell you what they think People always ask me, who's the hardest player I've ever had to guard? And there was Michael Jordan, George Gervin, the late, great Mike Mitchell. I mean, so many players. I always say Larry Bird. And I say this for the reason, because when Michael passed the basketball, he kind of hung on his shorts and he sit off to the side. With Larry, when he passed the basketball is when he became more dangerous. Mm. He was either set Because he's a versatile player, multidimensional player. At the simple fact that he's not just a scorer, He's a playmaking person who uses all of his abilities, not just one. I consider Jordan just a scorer, an offensive threat with a one-dimensional one gameplay, which is give me the ball and I'm a score. The main player focus, right? But Larry Bird evolved everyone around him where it wasn't just him being the main player, but him and his team being the main players together as a we, which then he took place in coordinating things, but it all came together as a team sport in which it is. And I believe Larry Bird gameplay symbolized the whole point of basketball being a team playing sport. Pick, coming off a pick, catching no. the ball, passing the ball. So he was the one you always had to stay attentive to mm -hmm. the whole 24 seconds of that offensive play for the Celtics. And mm -hmm. you know what? Oh, he's going to get an offensive rebound. He was going to do something to help his team uh, have the best chance of scoring at that point. So I always say as him, he didn't need the basketball to affect the game. To the untrained eye, Michael Jordan was light years better than Larry Bird mm -hmm. simply because his scoring numbers were better. But in actuality, it was much closer than that because Bird affected the game in so many ways. I saw Larry Bird one night in Phoenix. They were losing big time at the half. And they come out in the third quarter and Larry did not take a shot, but dominated the game. He had seven assists in the third quarter. Because at the end of the day, it's not about how many points you make. At the end of the day, what's going to matter is that W, right? As a team sport. That player of the game means nothing if you don't get that W. Everybody wants to be on the winning side. Let's be real here. He came back and won the game. He could affect the game without taking a shot. Who else can you say that about to that degree? Nobody. Michael could never do that. Never. Michael had to have the ball. Here's a mm -hmm. 1986 magazine on the NBA. And as nearly perfect as you can get in a glorious seventh season, Larry Bird of the Boston Celtics is demonstrating that he may be the NBA's best player of all time. By Jack McCollum, the living legend, Boston's Larry Bird. Remember, this is a league with Michael Jordan, 
Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Charles Barkley, Isaiah Thomas, Hakeem Olajuwon, Moses Malone, and Dr. J. Mm. And in a league with all of these all-time great players, everyone agreed that Larry Bird was the best. Of course. Because in 1984, 1985, and 1986, Larry Bird won MVP back to back to back. back to and back. in the 1986 playoffs, Larry Bird finally faced Michael Jordan head to head. And in game one, Michael dropped a spectacular 49 points. But Larry Bird had an all around game mm. with 30 points, eight assists, six rebounds, and three steals to lead the Celtics to a victory. 30 points, eight assists. It is his six rebounds, two steals. Man, jack of all trades when it comes to this ball game, man. A game two, MJ had a revelation. And this is game two of the best of five first round action. And the Celtics will try to make it two in a row over the Bulls. You know, we really have to play a complete basketball game. I, I don't think one man can beat the Boston Celtics. I don't think one man can beat the Boston Celtics. Of course. But he sure did try because Jordan turned on God mode and broke the record. Because that's what I see when, that's all you know how to do what got you this far. And it takes somebody like Larry Legend to shake, shake you up in your game. All you can do is try, but it ain't gonna work. <laughs> Most points ever scored in a playoff game. Lead in the first half of the game against the Celtics Thursday. Jordan trying to mm. fake Bird, can't do it. Hits the jumper, but I, Bird played pretty well defensively against Jordan. That was good defense. I mean, you make it, you make it. That was luck. I ain't hating. He did what he had to do. He shot it. He made it. I know we started Dennis Johnson out on him, and then we went with uh, Danny Ainge, myself, uh, with uh, then Bill Walton, and we was trying to run him to help all the time, but he had his outside shot going so well that he really didn't need to penetrate that much. Jordan hits it, 56 for Jordan, and that ties the Chicago Bulls all-time leader. Jordan with eight on the clock. Jordan ties the game. Oh, boy. 63 points, and you're looking at an all-time record. Oh, boy. Michael Jordan. I see Jordan trying to prove a point, man. I give it to him. The guts, the heart, the courage. Incredible, incredible playoff performance. I've never seen it before, and I had never seen it after. That wasn't Michael Jordan out there. It was God disguised as Michael Jordan. But Larry Bird left with the most important statistic of all, the W. Ten on the clock. Bird, pick and roll, Paris. You ain't beating that team sport, man. You ain't beating that team, man. I don't care what you do, man. One player ain't gonna outbeat a whole team sport like that. Victory for the Boston Celtics to take a two to nothing lead over Chicago in their best of five. Michael Jordan didn't beat Larry Bird. You show Michael Jordan going between his legs one time in the highlights you know, against Larry Bird. And that was the game he got 63. That's when he dropped 63 on Bird. Yes. yes. But That's his memory serves me correct. They got he lost. swept. Mm -hmm. No, not, not lost. They got yes. swept. Okay. <laughs> he, That's true. Even though he dropped 63, we stepped all in his ass, did we not? Mm -hmm. I rest my case. <laughs> Larry Bird went on to win his third championship that year. And the following year, when Larry faced MJ in the playoffs, it happened again. Inside, Larry Bird against Banks, rubs him around a Perry screen, drives it down the lane and lays it in with a right hand. Michael Jordan with 30 points in this game, so he was 30 or better in all three playoff games. My man, my man sitting there rethinking his whole life right now. See that Larry Bird effect? <laughs> Bird's got 31 in the game and 14 in the fourth quarter. Bullseye. Fuck it. Boston has kept it in good hands in the fourth Look, quarter. It's been like a bear scratched my man back. This is a warrior out here. A wounded warrior, but he's still fighting, man. Third, and that's a about it. Game. Final score in Chicago Stadium. The Boston Celtics sweep the Bulls out 105 to. Not that. Not that. He's, man. 
Not daddy. All right, let's go, family. Five to 94. Too much Celtic talent. Too much Celtic experience. Too much Celtic talent. For a Bulls team lacking in both areas. Yes, Larry Bird in back-to-back -back years swept Michael Jordan in the playoffs. Mm. So if Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time, but Michael Jordan never beat Larry Bird, then what does that make Larry Bird? The legend of all time. He was just the greatest of all time for the future modern era to come in regards of a lot of people. What I believe, family, is in Larry Bird time, defense was actually valued as it is compared to how it is now. Nowadays, people don't really care about defense. They care about the points and score, and that creates you to, creates you to look at as the best player. So, if anything, Michael Jordan would be um, the best player in regards of creating that narrative of being an offensive threat. Larry Legend would be the legend and how the game is originally, originally, originally intended to be played the right way with sharp IQ and a team being a great team player. You know? Innovative. Mm. Creative. Playmaking. Playmaker. I could go on, man. Now, to be fair, at that point, Michael Jordan didn't have his best teammate ever, Scottie Pippen, yet. So? When Scottie Pippen arrived... The battles were. What was Scotty gonna do? Ain't nobody defending Larry Legend in that step back. Closer and more intense. And later in the video, I'll let you see exactly what happened when Larry Bird faced a prime Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. Exactly. Because Larry Bird did something so miraculously impressive. No other man in the history of basketball mm -hmm. can say they've done. But after Bird swept Jordan back-to-back -back years in the playoffs, that very next year in 1988, Michael Jordan had statistically the best season ever, mm. where he won the scoring title at 35 points per game, the steals title, the MVP, the defensive player of the year, the all-star game. The steals, the MVP, the scoring title. MVP and the dunk contest okay he faced larry bird four times that year and this is how it went game break one down. break it down game one larry bird 38 points michael jordan 42 celtics won not let not even to say how many rebounds larry got over jordan more assists always of course that's no doubt about it two steals Tough battle, Bird wins. Game two, MJ has a historic. Okay, Larry Bird got 19 points. MJ got 50. Okay, five rebounds from Michael Jordan, 10 rebounds from Larry Bird, six, six assists from Larry Bird, nine assists from Michael Jordan, five steals from Michael Jordan, two steals from Larry Bird, both got one block. 50 point game to win by 10. Game three, Larry's revenge. Mm -hmm. After that previous loss, I'm sure Larry Bird had that rematch circled on his calendar because he. Larry, Larry Bird got 33 points, seven rebounds, eight assists, zero blocks. Michael Jordan got 26 points, four rebounds, seven assists. One steal, one block. Ended up with 33, 8, and 7, and blew MJ out by 30 points. Mm. Game 4. Celtics so won again. Larry has 44, MJ has 39. I think this is the, the third game. What is this, game? This is game 4. 
right? No, this game, yeah, this game three. The match circled on his calendar because he ended up with. And I think this is the game with Larry Bird having the. No, this game four right here. Eight assists. No, I believe this is the game. This is the third game. So I believe this is the game out of all four games. This might be the game where Labor has the least success. And 10 rebounds, but most importantly, a win versus Michael Jordan in his statistically mm -hmm. best season. Oh, so the fourth. So the fourth, we had three assists, Larry Bird, and then also he had eight and a third. Yeah, that's the game was Larry Bird least success. 10 rebounds, but most importantly, a win versus Michael Jordan in his statistically best season ever. And though Michael Jordan didn't face Bird again that year in the playoffs, Jordan did face Isaiah Thomas in the Detroit Pistons. Mm -hmm. And I'll let Isaiah Thomas tell you exactly how he recalls that year and the rest of the 80s. So Michael Jordan in the 80s, the best year that he had was he was the MVP of the league and the Defensive Player of the Year. I believe that was in 88. Yes. We 88. Beat them four, we beat them four to one. Mm. I'm going to say that again. Four to one. They won one May game. I respond. And he never beat Larry Bird. He never beat Magic and Kareem. He never won. And I'll he never won against the legends. Saying is in the 80s, what I remember in the 80s, it was Philadelphia mm -hmm. with Dr. J, Magic, yep. Kareem, Burt, Michael Jordan. He he was a non-factor. Mm. A non-factor. A non-factor. For the simple fact that he couldn't move the goalpost higher than the legends themselves that played against him. Mm. Is this your goat? Nah, my goat. But after Isaiah Thomas swept MJ. He got some nice sneakers, though, but he ain't my goat. He did go on to beat Larry Bird in six games. And many people touted the Detroit defense for holding Larry Bird to under 20 points per game. But what many don't include in that story is that Larry Bird was noticeably injured with painful bone spurs in both feet. Mm. So. That's why them scratches and all that getting rough in the paint. Not even to mention, um, what's this man name? What's this man name? He played very, very um, dirty. Um, Lambeer. Them bone spurs in his foot. It's 10 times worse than the pain that he can endure by Lambert just trying to play unprofessionally, I should say. Only because of injuries. For the mm. first time in five seasons, Larry Bird would not make the NBA Finals. Starting the following year, Larry Bird had season-ending surgery on both feet Jeez. after playing only six games. But sadly... Okay. It only got worse because that following offseason, Larry Bird broke his back Sheesh. and was never the same. Again. Sheesh, broke his back, man. And he played six games, though, at the foot, before the foot surgery, man, you know, waited. Again, but even as Larry Bird's entire body betrayed him, for some reason, he always played well against Michael Jordan. Almost. Of course, if you want to keep a legend on his toes, and he one that never gets complacent and stay hungry, you always going. He always going to push it to the limit. He had a personal vendetta against Jordan, and I think I know why. That's when Michael Jordan was in college, he actually played an exhibition game against Larry Bird. Mm. Jordan and a bunch of college players while preparing for the 1984 Olympics faced Larry Bird and a bunch of NBA stars. Mm. The goal was to toughen the college kids up before they headed to the Olympics. 
So during pregame warmups, when Jordan chased the loose ball to the other end of the court, Larry Bird picked the ball up. Larry Bird picked the ball up instead of handing the ball to Jordan. Bird snared and kicked it back over Jordan's head. My world and welcome to it. Bird was showing me it was all business now and I was beneath him, says Jordan. I didn't forget. But instead of handing it to mm. Jordan, Bird kicked the ball welcome, over brother. Jordan's head to the opposite end of the court. Welcome to the league. And I guess you could say Michael Jordan took that personally. Now look at my Really? Oh, so that's how you're going to play it. You're going to do this? Okay, fine. That's all I needed. That's all I needed for him to do that. And it, it became personal with me. Mm. Michael Jordan dominated. If it became personal, your feelings somewhat got involved. So my man had real estate in your brain for free. So it makes sense. This personal vendetta that can be a possible, that can be possible, it's alleged, it, still, it can be valid or not, but Ben's on that, he said he took it personal. My man, it makes sense why every time y'all played against each other, he's going to show you every chance. That game, a young Michael Jordan actually carried a team full of college players Past the prime Larry Bird and a bunch of NBA players. Michael Jordan won the battle, but Larry Bird won the war. Mm. I think Larry Bird took that loss personally because Jordan. My man Larry Bird got the beer with it. Never really got the best of Larry Bird ever again. Mm. When Larry Bird finally returned to the court after missing basically an entire season with foot surgery and a back injury, he faced. Prime Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen in a regular season game. Mm. The teams went back and forth. Bagley against Paxson, 10 on the shot clock. Jordan on Bird. Quick feed into Jim Paxson for the layup. That's one thing. Larry Bird, quick feet. I'm telling you, that quick feet and energy transferred over to his teammates, bro. Bird is KO the read. Jordan oh! steal. Scotty Pippen ahead to Jordan. Michael for the dunk. Bird against Pippen. Bird working on Pippen one-on-one. -on -one. Hits the fadeaway. And with 10 seconds to go, it was a tie game. The Celtics had the ball. And the Bulls put their two best defenders, mm. Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, both on Larry Bird because everyone knows who the ball is going to. Of course. And then this happened. Let's see if they wind it all the way down. Inside Bird of low, seconds. Bird low. You can't double yet. Now you can quickly. Bird's jumper. Good. I'm not stopping that, bro. 3.6 seconds left. Larry Bird gives the Boston Celtics a two-point lead. No, no, Everybody no. in this building had to know it was going on. Michael came over to help out. Celtics lead with 3.6. Look at my man. He's like, what the heck, man? Here, 102 to 100. A game-winning shot while being double-teamed by both Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, two of the best defenders of all time. Somehow the word clutch doesn't even begin to describe the greatness of Larry Bird. Look at that, bro. Right in his face. Game was on the line. But maybe a quote from NBA Hall of Fame coach, executive, and former player, Pat Riley, can explain. In an interview, when comparing Larry Bird and Michael Jordan's clutchness, Pat Riley said this iconic quote, if I had to choose a player to take a shot to save a game, I'd choose Michael Jordan. If I had to choose a player to take a shot to save my life, I'd take Larry Bird. How about this, Pat Riley? We're going to do save the game and save the life. We're going to do Larry Bird. Because at the end of the day, we, we want to win, right? Winners win. We ain't going to join the loser, the ones, the individual who worrying about the stats and worry about the numbers. Look at Russell Westbrook, for example. It just, um, luckily, Michael Jordan, I feel as though, just got around individuals that were great teammates, which took him part of his coach, surrounding him with these individuals, like a Dennis Rodman, like a Scottie Pimpin, you know, that were team player individuals. And worked at their scrims. 
But for life and the game, we wanna win in for life. We gonna use lay we gonna you we gonna choose Larry Bird every time, man. As Larry Bird was on his last legs and Michael Jordan was starting his dynasty in nineteen ninety one, Larry Bird mustered up enough strength to battle MJ again in one of the last great duels between the two. Gamble came up with a steal. Here's Bird. Yes. He was met on a switch by Jordan and there. 69, Chicago 67. Jordan eluding a triple team. Reggie Lewis. And Bird, Bird. Bird. Over two people. This battle between two all-time greats came down to the wire. In overtime, it was a tie game with 0.4 seconds on the clock and the Chicago Bulls had the ball. Pippen, now up to throw in. Four tenths of a second. Here we go. And here it is, Jordan with the play. Yes! It's over, man. The buzzer been went off. You too oh, slow. Way to Will not count. Mike Mathis said no. Did not beat the clock. Ooh, slow, he almost bro. had it. After Jordan's possible game winner was waved off, Larry Bird on four straight possessions in double overtime did this. Jordan. It's great to hear all these coaches talk about. They're really concerned as Bird gets a little. Not that quick release. They're really concerned about the minutes building up. They want to be fresh going into the playoffs until Over the game. time number two. Quickly. Bird. Yes. Okay. Larry Bird heating it out. to go. Okay. And the second overtime. Ooh, Bird with the, the first What the and one. And hits. So quick with the release, it got my man mind indecisive. Don't know want to jump like a bunny, or leap like a frog, or stand his ground. Five to go in the second overtime. Bird fires. Maybe. Yes. Francis. The crowd couldn't help but chant the name of the greatest player of all time. Of Shook his head and said, "This guy's too much." And the champ of Larry. And the second overtime, and that will do it. The Boston Celtics in double overtime and defeated the Chicago Bulls. Look at that, man. You're not stopping it, man. Wisdom supersedes everything, man. The time put in, man. Speaks for itself. 35 to 1, 32, and a wild one. The Celtics held on to win that game, but that year, Michael Jordan won his first championship versus Magic Johnson in the finals, and his dynasty had officially begun. Larry and I were talking, and Michael walks in, and he says, there's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> and well, he could back it up, you know? Both we'll hit each other like, well, he's not lying. <laughs> Larry Bird retired after that next season. That's humble enough for them to acknowledge it. But not before he took the court with Michael Jordan one last time. Mm. Except this time, it would be on the same team in what many would call. Look at Jordan, boy. Look at Jordan start to get bald. Time. Look weird. It would be on the same. You try to hold on to that little hair, look. Team, in what many would call the greatest team ever assembled. Even Magic Magic still had hair before Jordan lost his. The 1992 Dream Team. And rebounded by Jordan. Perez may have realized that's, that may be his best opportunity to get an open look in transition. Magic with the pass that misfired. Jordan with the behind the pass. Nice just knew that 
but Larry Bird was not going to miss that shot after the great save by Michael Jordan. Larry, I hear that you're retiring. Thank goodness. I'm glad. I'm tired of seeing your face. Well, a lot of sad memories to me, but you know, I enjoyed you tremendously. I wish you a lot of luck, and I think you had a very wonderful career, even though you probably ruined a lot of my uh, successful games against the Boston Celtics. Hey, man, step your game up, big dog. And I see you somewhere along the road, somewhere playing golf. Even though he dropped 63, we stepped all in his ass, did we not? <laughs> Tell him. I rest my case. He rests his case. He rests his case. Just like he ain't got to rest his case because I believe Michael Jordan already said he ruined a lot of his accomplishments. Y'all rested y'all case. And I know, family, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.